rim brakes. Yesterday we did all the common mistakes you guys make with disc brakes. Today is the turn of rim brakes. And the first mistake that we see people do starts with your wheels. It's probably the one thing we get overlooked when we're particularly trying to align our brake pads up just to realize that our wheel isn't actually true or in dish or isn't actually true in the up and down either. So first off, start with your wheel, get that sorted and also check for wear as well. If your rim hasn't got a wear line like this, you can grab one of these little dentistry tools that you can find on Amazon. And when a rim is a brand new, it's normally about one and a half millimeter of depth here. Once it's below a millimeter, you probably want to think about changing it. So start with your wheel, get that aligned, make sure it's in the frame properly. Really, really common mistake. And we should be golden. So the next common mistake we have is the choice of outer cable. So this is what brake outer should look like. It's a five millimeter diameter and it looks like this on the inside. So quite tightly coiled, thick, uh, thick metal there. And then this is what gear outer looks like. See a significantly different construction and only four and a half millimeters. So the next thing we see is when to use these little ferrules and when not to and check the instructions, but the amount of time that we've seen people trying to fit these ferrules inside brake levers, oh, I can't tell you how many times I've had to try and fish these out again. So look at the instructions, sometimes I need them, sometimes I don't. And then when we come down to actual calipers, uh, I don't think a lot of people realize just how important the length of the brake nut is to hold actually the, the caliper on. So. When you buy them brand new, they're normally supplied with like a little pack and you can choose the right length. But if you buy these second hand or you're switching from one bike to another, you don't always have that luxury. So you might need to buy yourself a pack of bolts and get the right length bolt. So the next thing, and I see this so often, is when you've taken these shoes off and you've got them muddled up and you've got them the wrong way around. So what you need to make sure is that when the wheel is rotating, that the direction of the wheel is actually pushing the pad into its shoe. If it's the wrong way around, it can just push the brake pad out, which is not what you want when you're going down downhill. And we have seen it because this little retraining screw is not designed to hold the pad in, it's just designed to come in out again, a convenience thing. So the other thing we see is, this is the cable clamp bolt. And again, these get stripped and removed and are can't tell you the amount of times people have changed these out with an M5 bolt and a washer to try and clamp your cable bolt in or got them the wrong way around or most likely over tightened them. So check your torque settings and you're just looking for one nice straight cable run through there and at the correct torque and you should be good. So rim brakes, pretty simple, but there's quite a lot of things to check. Um, before you even start thinking about alignment. When you get to alignment, one of the biggest things we see is when you're trying to get all these uh, lined up is that rather than activating the brake to make sure that they're both touching the rim at the same time, what we see people do is rotate them, get this one lined up, rotate it, get this one lined up. When you do this, what happens as the brakes wear, you'll end up with a little ridge that can rub the tire. So the best way to get them lined up is to activate the brake get them working properly, get them lined up, and of course, hold them in place as you bring them up to torque. Couple of little pro tips there that hopefully might help you with your rim brake setup. Hope that helped. If it did, put it down in the comments and hopefully subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.